Welcome to our devos this week where we have been examining the benefits of the cross. Did you know that there are benefits to the crucifixion of Christ and an impact that it has on your life more than beyond what we're used to thinking about? I know, of course, we always want to thank God for the fact that the cross of Christ enables us to have forgiveness of our sins. The cross of Christ enables us to feel victorious over evil because Jesus defeated the devil when he died on the cross. The enemy was defeated. The power of sin was taken away. But there's other things that happened as a result of the crucifixion that, frankly, if we focused on them a little bit more, it could really change the way that we interact with God on a regular basis. And today, I want to talk to you about the idea that the cross enables us to pronounce death to our old selves. Death to our old selves. Now, before I became a Christian, I mean, I had my own patterns of living. I had my own belief systems. I had my own theology that had no basis whatsoever in scripture. And some of you were like that. Like I was really, really confident in these things. And the moment that I realized that Jesus died for me, the moment that I realized that Jesus was the reason why I was able to be forgiven of my sins, well, it shifted everything about my beliefs. But the Bible doesn't just say that when you come to Christ, your beliefs get shifted. The Bible says that when you come to Christ, you're crucified with him, that you actually die to your old self and you become this new person. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 that behold, the new has come. What is old has passed away. Why? As a result of Christ dying on the cross for our sins. Now there's a passage of scripture here in Romans chapter 6. It says, we know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing. He says that power of sin, that old body of sin, the things that we used to believe, the things that we used to do, that was all laid to rest. It's all over. He says so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. We're different. We become different people. We are not those people. Those motives do not have the same power. Those belief systems, those old theologies, they don't have the same impact. Now, can we struggle with parts of our old nature? Yes, absolutely. A lot of times we start to think that our old sin nature is in charge, but really the reason why we struggle with that habitual sin is because we're giving of ourselves power over to that sin. And there's some steps that we can take, and you could check out the, we did a previous devotion about breaking every chain. There's some things that you can do to kind of bring that sin to submission of Christ. But I want you to know that because Jesus died, your old nature, the old way that you used to behave, it's gone. It's dead. And you have a license to become the person that God has declared you to be. So I, I, I've said this illustration before, and I don't think I've said it as much as I'd like, but it's really, really important. When I graduated high school, or when some of you graduated high school, or when you graduated college, one of the things that people wrote about that was in all the yearbooks, people would sign it, they'd write two words, don't change don't change, right? Like, oh, you're so perfect. Don't change and don't change who you are. And really from a practical sense, that's the worst advice that you could ever give an 18 year old. I mean, do you really want an 18 year old to reach their peak development at 18? Like, do you want an 18 year old to be the best version of himself then and then start to decline and for the rest, for the next 70, 80 years that he or she lives? Of course not. But this is even more damaging and dangerous when we think about what the Bible says about our nature. We should always be looking to change. We should always be looking to grow closer in our relationship with God. The closer we get to him, the more we change. And the way you want to look at it is this. Christ has declared you because of the cross. He's declared you clean. You are justified. You are free. And for the rest of our lives, we have the opportunity to become the people that God has made us to be. We become more and more like Christ. We crucify ourselves daily. We die daily to our old desires. So my goal for you isn't that you don't change. My goal for you is to recognize every single day that your old self is dead. You are not under bondage of sin like you used to be. You are not under the same bondage that kept you away from Jesus. You are a new creation. You have a new path. You have a new spirit. You are born again. You have 
Christ guiding your life. You have the Holy Spirit living within you. And because Jesus died on the cross, your old nature was crucified. So because of the cross, you have a brand new beginning. Walk in that path. Be excited to become the person that God has declared you to be.